Oh, okay. So in the interest of uh, uh, showing what the result of what I just showed would be um, with the Hydra controls, I'll give you a look at this. The frame rate's going to be quite janky because I've done something kind of kind of silly with this. Um, but I've thrown in some widgets and stuff. Uh, I've got some attached to the hands um, because I found that when I put the Rift on, you can't see the user interface. So you need something on the actual hands themselves to show you what's going on. So this is set up as a normal character controller. So I'm in grab mode now. Oh, I knocked the bottles over. Uh, uh, I got the bottle. Uh, uh, I can throw the bottle. I still haven't worked out the bloody, you know, picking stuff up and uh, uh, throwing it properly yet. Um, but we can switch through the states. Um, so I've got point, which is set up the same way I had in my other video. Uh, weapon uh, is currently set to use an animation. I don't have a weapon spawning in there just at the moment um, for this particular hand. Uh, signal, I've got, you know, I'll put that in. I love that. Uh, and throw, I set up as a state so that if I was holding something, I can put all of the functionality for actually launching the object with an animation in there. So you throw it and it kind of looks like the hand kind of follows through a little bit. Um, and I still have yet to properly set that up. The tool I have is a phone, uh, it's an iPhone 4, I think, uh, model I, I found that I use for a different project. But if I hit the trigger, I turn it on and it's got a little uh, camera phone set up on it as a render target. You can see I'm a bit trigger happy with the, uh, with the render target stuff, which kind of kills performance on mobile. But if you wanted to take a happy snap of these guys dangling, that would be a way to do it. And then obviously I've got uh, another one here, well obviously, I've got another one here that I set up for casting. Um, for like casting a spell or something like that. Uh, the, the angles and stuff are quite messed up at the moment. I really haven't set this up terribly well, but I can spray that dude with particles. And then I've got summon, which was going to be like a force power that you can draw things to yourself. So that functionality is not in there yet, um, but the grabbing stuff is... Um, I'll uh, switch over to my tool at the moment. Yeah, see, it's little, little snappy bits. Um, point works the same way, but this one does have a weapon set up. That I can shoot, and if I get that guy, uh, get him, yep, I got him. Yeah, I'm very trigger happy with the particles. Uh, I've got the signal on this one, and you can see the, the label there. Probably a better way to handle it, got throwing. But the tool on this one is kind of cool. I set this one up um, based on a game that my friend made uh, called Boss Torture, and I just thought, oh, this is, this is, this is way too awesome. Bonk, bonk. I can bonk him, I can bonk him, B bonk, bonk, um, and it's kind of cool, like, uh, if I go to this guy's body over here, I can, like, poke him and stuff, uh, uh, uh. get some videos of me, uh, uh, uh. your kids want to see a dead body, uh, uh, uh. cool, um, and then I've got the casting, which actually doesn't do the same functionality on this one. I haven't got it set up to do the spawning and stuff like that. Um, and the weapon kind of works nicely, pretty well. I mean, it's not from my other demo. It's not... Yeah, they don't get any damage or anything like that. But cool thing is, I could tear it up. I could go crazy with this building. Yeah, boy! I know the materials are messed up. It's partly to do with the way that you import custom destructible meshes um, from uh, uh, in the Apex tool. So I set this one up so that it was using um, destruction using Rayfire and Max and exported the separate chunks so that it would kind of fall apart a little bit better. Oh, that whole side's going down. Um, I've got it set not to take input impact damage because I find that that means it kind of falls apart a little bit too quickly for my tastes, but I'll see if I can take out the most of this building. And you know, I know the bullets bounce off, they don't despawn or anything, that's kind of partly by design, because um, they kind of bounce around inside the building and knock out different bits of it and stuff like that. Whoa, the whole roof's coming down, whoa! This guy's stuck as, I'll put you out of your misery. Brrrr. Uh, and another cool thing that I've found is that I can interact with the chunks. So, uh, 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 I'm a bit special at the moment, but I can uh, get that one and search through the rubble and go, what's in here? I mean, obviously, this is taxing on the physics system and things are intersecting all over the place, but as a proof of concept, I feel like it's kind of quite fun. 
uh, to mess around, mess around with. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, I haven't put a selfie mode on this yet, which I really ought to. But that would probably point out like the fact that the character model is missing. Uh, there's no body there, so you would just see behind you. But you can, well, yeah, you can't flip it around. It'd be cool if you could like see what's coming behind or whatever. But that, and those guys are just going bonkers. I was setting up some constraints on two ragdolls so they were dangling off each other. And they are just having, they've, 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 they've had a big weekend. They've taken uh, probably the wrong pills. And uh, I need some dubstep to go with those guys. Boof, boof, but not this guy. Take that, you guy. Whoa! And that's what seems to happen with the physics with the character if it gets into a weird collision situation. So that's a, that's a, a preview of... Uh, well, just a demonstration of what the... Um, uh, la, 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 what am I talking about? The hydro controls are. Um, so yeah, I hope that gives you a bit of a window. Awesome. So if you haven't checked out the tutorials yet, have a look, um, and have a good one. Cheers, guys.